Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you this really awesome comic book inspired text effect, and we're doing that right inside of Photoshop and inside of Adobe After Effects. So we're gonna begin by opening up Adobe Photoshop. And once we're inside of Photoshop, you want to go ahead and select the pen tool. Now with the pen tool selected, you want to go ahead and change the fill color to yellow. And you want to make sure that the stroke is black. Now draw a very rough rectangle in the center of the canvas. Go to the right side of Photoshop, right click on shape one and go up to blending options. Now inside of blending options, you want to go down to pattern overlay and you want to turn this on. Now inside of pattern overlay, you want to go into the pattern menu and you want to select the dotted shape pattern. Now we can increase or decrease the opacity. We can change the blending mode. I've got mine set to darken and you can increase or decrease the scale, but I'm going to keep my scale at around 90 to hundred percent. And now once you're happy with that, we're just going to go up into stroke. That's on the left side of the layer style. We'll turn the stroke on and we'll just increase the size. We'll change the color of this to black. Now, once you're happy with this, we'll go down and turn drop shadow on. And inside of drop shadow, we can change the blend mode, opacity, angle, distance, spread, and size. Now I'm just gonna change the angle around to the bottom right corner. We'll increase the distance and we'll change the color to a dark gray. This is acting as a shadow for our text box. You want to keep the size at zero. The spread can be wherever it wants to be. The distance can be around 60% and the opacity can be around 73%. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we can just press OK to exit this window. We'll go down to the T icon, that's the text icon. Click on the center of the canvas and just type out a word, phrase or sentence. So I'm just going to type out the word later. We're going to change the color of this to black and then we'll increase the size of this. So I'm going to increase the size of this to around 50 pixels and I'm going to change the font to a more comic book inspired font. At the moment, I have Avenir selected, which is a clean, modern font, but I'm gonna change it to this comic book inspired font. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we can just unpadlock the background. We'll turn the background layer off, and then we can go ahead and we can save this file. So inside of Photoshop, we'll go file, save as, and you can either save this as a Photoshop file or a PNG. In my example, I'm going to save this as a PNG. I'm just going to save this to the desktop. And we'll just export that. Now, if we jump into After Effects, we can just drag that PNG file into After Effects. Now, once you've got that file into Adobe After Effects, we can go ahead and we can animate this into the video. So press S on the keyboard with that layer selected. You want to create a brand new keyframe on the scale. So press the stopwatch icon. Move over three or four frames, create a brand new keyframe and move over another five or six frames and create another keyframe. Now we'll go to the keyframe in the middle and we'll pull this up to around 85%. Then we'll go to the very first one, pull this down to zero. And as you can see, we've got this really awesome bouncing animation. So if we turn the motion blur on and we play this back, we've got this really awesome comic book inspired title effect and that's right inside of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you haven't already, then please do not forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day for you. So if you want to learn some awesome filmmaking and photography tips and tricks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with everything that I upload. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.